Hi everybody, Ryan Jackson here. I hope you're having a great day. I'm really excited about today's video. Uh, this one's a little bit different. You know, normally I get into kind of nerdy NEC, NFPA 70E stuff. This one's going to be unusual because this one's kind of a, a fun video. I've got my friend Dale Crawford with me. And Dale Crawford is with the Steel Tube Institute. And the Steel Tube Institute, by the way, I'm a technical consultant for them. I represent them on Code Making Panel 3, and they're just a fantastic group of people. But we're really excited because Dale had the great idea of coming up with a conduit installation competition. Uh, I know everybody in the electrical industry, when you see a good looking uh, piece of pipe work, it, it's, it just draws you to it like a magnet. I know I, I still am, regardless of how long it's been since I've bent pipe, when I see it, I just, I have to stop and admire it. And I know that a lot of us are like that. So Dale got this great idea and said, hey, why not have a competition and maybe give some stuff away to the best conduit installation we can find. And uh, Dale, Tell us about yourself and, uh, and and maybe how you came up with this idea. Thanks, Ryan, and thanks for having me on your channel. Um, we love working with Ryan. He he does a lot of great work for the industry, and we're glad that he is able to do some work with us as a technical consultant. So the Steel Tube Institute is a trade association that represents steel tubing manufacturers. We have structural, mechanical uh, ornamental and uh, all types of tubing and piping, but uh, the area I'm here to talk about today and the area that I started working with the Steel Tube Institute is electrical conduit. And so again, we've been around since 1930 and been, you know, part of the industry and fighting for, you know, American jobs and, and trying to get out, you know, the word about the craftsmanship that goes into especially electrical conduit. So this, this was an idea we had to where we wanted to make sure that uh, more people know about the craft that goes into our industry, which is the bending and installation of steel conduit. Uh, conduit is the best protection and the best method to uh, put in an electrical raceway still with the grounding properties and the EMI mitigation and every every other aspect of it. We're, we're proud to tell people about that. We wanna show people about that too. So um, we started this uh, this photo installation photo contest. We're kicking it off for the first year, and we're hoping it becomes a yearly thing where uh, we can we can have you know contests, give away some money, um, and get people excited you know in the whole construction community about the the great craftsmanship that goes into conduit bending. Awesome. Well, I think it's going to be really cool. I remember you and I were at a, a trade show up in Michigan and, you know, there were there was kind of a competition of, of people installing cable and, and people just seemed to flock to it. And I know that with conduit, there's even a, a, a bigger bar as far as uh, as far as pride in the workmanship and everything. I'm, I'm not saying that, you know, if you if you can't bend conduit, you're not a good electrician. I'm not saying that at all. I am saying, though, that it is kind of a unique skill set and it takes years to get really, really good at it. And boy, I'll tell you, um, it doesn't take long to lose that skill either. You know, I started inspecting uh, years ago and I had to run some conduit in my garage. And all it was was uh, I came down with a box offset, turned it a back to back 90 and then another box offset. And I installed it and it was like five inches short. And I couldn't for the life of me figure out what went wrong. And then like an hour later, Finally, it hit me that I, I used the arrow instead of the star and I was kicking myself because I had to use a coupling. So even something as dumb as running conduit in your own garage, there's a certain amount of pride that goes along with it. So if uh, if you think you're the best out there and you've done something that, that you should be proud of, send it to us and uh, we're going to have a team of experts judge it. And uh, so we're going to do what we're going to do basically like a kind of a mini competition every month. Dale, is that is that right? Yeah, that's correct. So uh, the entry will be housed on the Steel Tube Institute website, and uh, Ryan's going to put a link down below for for that. Um, but we also are going to get the word out partially about it on our link, the LinkedIn page for the Steel Tube Institute. So make sure you follow that. We'll put a link below for that as well. Um, we're going to have we're going to name the top three installations every month, and we're going to have people vote on it. And uh, so that voting will go hand in hand with the voting from our panel of experts. We made up of people from the industry and some of the manufacturers that we work with. Ryan will be on the panel. I'll be on the panel as well as the executive director of the Institute. And uh, we'll name 
you know, the, the winner for the month. And we'll let everyone know that the next month when we tell everybody what the top three are for that month. And we're going to close all this up in the fall. There's some great uh, industry um, conferences in the fall. There's NECA and there's IEC. So we're going to name the, the overall yearly winner about that time. And uh, we're also going to take some votes at those shows and also NTI, which is a, a great uh, conference and show that uh, works with the JATCs, their the instructors and training directors and and apprentices that get to come to that show that's always in Ann Arbor. And uh, that, NECA and IEC, we're hoping to get some people uh, right there taking some votes and maybe even taking some entries as well. Awesome. Okay, so once a month, we're going to do kind of a mini contest. We're going to get our, our top three winners for the month, right? And the monthly one, you, you win bragging rights. And bragging rights are cool, right? So we're going to put your, we'll put your picture, all you know, the top three on our LinkedIn page. Uh, if you want, if you have a LinkedIn page or your company has a LinkedIn page, we'll link it over there. And it's it's just something cool to show off, right? Again, it, it, it's bragging rights. So once a month, we'll do kind of a mini competition. At the end of the year, we're going to do the real competition. So we'll probably take the, you know, the top three from each month because who knows, maybe the overall number one and number two both come from the same month. So I don't want to just take the top 12. So let's take the, the top 36, right? And we're going to look at all of those and we'll do the number one, the number two, and the number three for the entire year. And now let's talk dollars and cents. What do I get besides just being able to brag to all my coworkers? What do I get if I win this thing? Well, so this is all funded by the uh, conduit manufacturers that are members of the Steel Tube Institute. So you have Allied Tube and Conduit, uh, Western Tube and Conduit, a Wheatland Tube, and Nucor Republic Conduit. And uh, the their cash prizes, first place is $2,500. Nice. Uh, first place also gets a framed copy of the photo and a plaque. So you have something to remember that by after you've blown through that $2,500. <laughs> uh, second place gets $1,000 and third place gets $500. One of the things we're asking in your entry, and we'll do this through a follow-up process, is uh, we, we need some proof that you did the, the installation, right? We don't want anybody taking credit for someone else's work. So we're going to ask for a couple follow-up questions. It does need to be domestic conduit. Um, you know, that's who it's being funded by. So it needs to be domestic conduit. So I'll ask for a follow-up photo of the label kind of showing that. We may ask for some identification, you know, in a picture, but that'll all be in follow-up emails. Um, when you put in for it though, there is a, a request for you to put in a sponsor for the installation. So that could be a foreman on the job. If you're, you know, an apprentice and going through school, it can be, you know, you're someone working with you at the school, a training director or instructor. Um, it can be, you know, a manager at the electrical contract you're working with. If you're, you know, out of school and, you know, fully in the field. But whoever that employer or school is, they also get a prize and they get a framed copy of the photo and a plaque to put in, uh, you know, the, their front offices at the front of the school. So you'll be immortalized forever as the best of the best in our industry for 2024. I think it. I think it's awesome. I mean, so third place, you get 500 bucks. And listen, 500 bucks, that's that's some serious money, right? So 500 bucks for third place, $1,000 for second place. And then first place, twenty five hundred bucks, which is a very nice check. And then I think the uh, I think the 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 picture with a plaque and the frame copy, I think that would be cool. Um, you know, I was on the I was on the cover of a magazine one time. It was a couple of years ago, and I I still use that picture as like my profile picture on Facebook because it's it's cool, man, to to have like a framed thing and say, look, here's the guy that bent the best looking conduit installation in the country for twenty twenty four. I, if I won, I, I mean, I, I would, I would make copies of that picture. I would, uh, I would put it on every window in my house. Yeah. You know? So everybody, all my neighbors knew that I won, you know, that's just me kind of being how I am. So um, you get the 2,500 and the frame picture, your boss gets it. We're going to put you all over uh, LinkedIn for bragging rights. You get the money. I think it's going to be cool, man. Now, like you said, uh, we want to make sure that you were the one that installed it. So don't just go to the airport or something and see a nice looking, you know, rack of condo. That's why we got to have, uh, you know, the picture of the installation and 
you plus your boss or somebody like that that can kind of validate that you did the installation. Um, and also, uh, we're going to do that to kind of make sure that we have permission to take the pictures too, because, you know, there's some job sites where you're not supposed to be taking pictures of stuff. And we need to make sure that we're not going to post all over the internet some type of thing that's going to, you know, upset uh, Homeland Security or something. So let's just be careful on that. So, man, I, I think we kind of got it covered. Uh, again, one more time, it's got to be Allied, Republic, Western, or Wheaton. They're the ones paying the money, right? So let's make sure we're using their products. And those are the four that are members of the Steel Tube Institute. And those are the four that are domestic, right? Made in the USA, uh, procured in the USA. So we want to make sure that we're, you know, that we're supporting that part of the industry as well. Ryan, um, one more one more thing with that is, you know, the Steel Tube Institute also has a subcommittee of our conduit committee for stainless steel conduits. So if you're working, you know, in an area where, you know, maybe it's food or beverage and you're installing stainless steel, which looks really good when it's installed. Yeah, very shiny. Um, so we have Rob Roy, if you installed Rob Roy or Gibson Stainless and Specialty, um, or Cal Bright, which is another Accor company. If it's one of those manufacturers, which are all domestic as well, uh, that can also be put in for it. So yeah, let's get some stainless steel conduit, you know, installation photos in there as well. Yeah, and boy, if you're installing a good-looking stainless steel installation, that's going to be tough to beat. I know I'm I'm kind of partial. I just it looks absolutely amazing when it's done well. So, uh, stainless steel, and that would be Gibson stainless, and then you said Calbright as well, which is made by Atcor, the same people that make Allied, and then uh, Rob Roy as well. So, if you're installing PVC coated rigid metal conduit tough to make that look great. That takes a unique skill set. You can do it, but uh, boy, you don't just uh, hire your first year apprentice and tell them to go wire a job full of Rob Roy conduit and expect it to look good. So if you can make a Rob Roy installation look as good as stainless or, you know, EMT, man, you've, uh, you've really got a feather in your cap. Let's get you out there and show off your work. Yep, that's right. And Rob Roy also makes stainless steel conduit too. So oh, that's right. Yes. We have multiple yeah. options on that. So very good. Awesome. All right, Dale, I'm excited. I know you are too. Let's uh, let's get out there and uh, click on the link below, submit that picture. It's going to show the job site, the actual installation. Once we get that, we'll go back out to you and ask you for some additional information, you know, just evidence that you did it, a picture of you holding a conduit bender or something like that. But um, let's go out there and uh, install that conduit and make that money. Dale, anything else you want to say? Well, I... Uh... There's some terms and conditions that you ought to read through that, that are on the website and then on the actual entry form. So make sure you're, you're familiar with what you're putting in. Nothing should be surprising there. We actually allow two entries per calendar year. So if later on in the year you do something even more awesome than you did in the spring, go ahead and put that in too. Uh, but we're really excited uh, to get involved uh, more so with the industry. And there just needs to be there needs to be some awards for some of the work that's done in this industry. And the Steel Tube Institute wants to do that for, for all of you. Awesome, man. Well, Dale, thanks so much for uh, for putting this thing together. I know we're both super excited. Thanks for taking the time out of your day. And uh, for those of you guys watching, click the link below, put your picture up there, make that money. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for stopping by and have a great day. We'll see you soon. Be sure to like, Follow, subscribe, and ring the bell.